Hi guys, my name's Barb, and I'm new to the YouTube game. Today I'm going to be using this red truck ribbon I picked up at Dollar General and this wood sign from Dollar Tree. I'm going to sand it down and give it some paint, white chalk paint. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and give me a thumbs up. What I'm going to do now is just add this white chalk paint all over my sign. And don't worry about those eyelashes. They're not going to show. You could always put some wood filler in it if you'd like. Here's my wood piece all painted. Give me a comment and let me know what you think about um, filling the eyelashes up instead of putting the ribbon on it, maybe putting it at the bottom. Just let me know, but I'm going to use this red crimson chalk paint and I'm going to cover this um, metal believe sign I picked up at Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to get a little coat of the red. So after all of that dries, I'm going to take my red truck ribbon and I'm just going to put it over top of these eyelashes so that it covers it. And I'm going to... Uh, Glue it to the back and just a little bit on the front. Like I said, should I have covered up the eyelashes and put the believe at the top and lowered the ribbon a little bit? Just let me know what you think. Um, put a little bit of hot glue and make sure you you know adhere it nice to the sides so that it doesn't slip off and I'm just patting it down to make sure it sticks nice and that it's even I was thinking maybe I should have added something at the bottom some snow or some grass or something but I'm just putting a little bit of hot glue on the front just to hold the ribbon in place so that it doesn't slide down not too much just a little bit at the bottom so that it doesn't curl up and then that's on so then I'm going to take this believe sign and just put a little bit of hot glue on the back and just stick it on my sign. You can put it straight or um, curved a little bit. And there you go. So that one is all done. Give me a thumbs up. This I picked up from the Dollar General as well. It was only a dollar fifty. And this is pretty simple. I just picked up the 13 foot um, rope from the Dollar Tree. And give me a big thumbs up if you like to go to the Dollar General as well. That's where I get a lot of the things that they sell at Dollar Tree in other states. They sell at Dollar General here. So here I've got my rope. And I'm just going to start at the inside part of the tray. And I'm going to start hot gluing it to my tray. And I'm going to start at the corner and then just take it all the way down. On my tray and you don't need a whole lot of hot glue you don't want to melt your tray so I'm just going to take it down and around the sign so then the next step I'm just going to do the same thing but I'm going to add some hot glue to the layer of rope and a little bit on the tray and just take it back around my sign as you see like this and I'm just going to take it all the way around that's basically what I'm going to do with the whole sign pretty self-explanatory so there I am just showing you I'm gonna hot glue this all the way around and I'm just gonna keep going until I have it fully covered 
as you see right here, I'm still going around it with the rope. So I was just showing you there that it's a 13 foot rope instead of the nine foot. I don't know why they sell two different sizes, but I'm gonna take this and go all the way around. But I have these little spots that the rope, it'd be a little bit too big. So I take the rope apart like I have in my other projects. I make three strands. It makes a little bit bigger than the jute twine they sell. And I just go along the edges and I hot glue it so that my edges aren't showing with this little piece of twine. And there it is finished after I put the little pieces on. And I have my red truck decor all finished. Sorry about the light shining in it. There you go. And let me know what you think in the comments below. Give me a thumbs up.